Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. It's Ryan Gruce from Yurt Rock, and I wanted to give you a look inside our gray box multi-track sessions. Uh, so right here you can see when you download the zip file, when you open it up, uh, everything's organized um, into the various options. So you have your Ableton Live session, the multi-track session, multi-track logic session, which we're listening to right now, and multi-track loops. So these are organized by song structure, and you can drag and drop uh, these into any DAW, whether it's Pro Tools or Studio One, um, for you to work with. And let's take a quick look at this session. This is the Smooth 80 session. Uh, it's in Logic, and it's actually in Flex Time Audio. So one super cool thing about this, you can speed up and slow down the multi-track session, um, and everything will stay on the grid. So let's crank this up to 95 and hear what happens. So definitely, definitely a lot faster, but it's still on the grid. Turn the click on, you can hear that. And let's take it back down to 82. And if we look up here, we also have everything laid out in the arrangement so you can see where you are. If you just wanted to loop on a verse, you could do that. Or if we head over to a bridge section over here, you can make that happen. And if we look down here, we got 11 tracks of audio. Uh, you can mix to your own taste. You know, bass and guitar are soloed. So let's turn that off, kind of let the song finish out. Um, and we've already done kind of an initial, an initial mix for you, yeah, as you can see, uh, with some EQ and some compression, just to kind of get it dialed in and sweetened but you're free to control the mix however you want. We just wanted to make sure you guys could get off to a quick start and um, start producing, recording on top of this, making the song yours. Um, so yeah, that's it for the Logic session. Let's hop over into Ableton land and see what we've got going on over there. So now we're inside the Ableton Live session. This particular session is from the Power Funk uh, volume. And as you can see, again, we've got all 11 tracks of audio laid out and arranged uh, and ready to go. So since we're in Ableton, you can kind of move around in a nonlinear fashion. So if you want to switch to a pedal groove, do that. Or if we want to go to an intro, kind of move around on the fly back into guitar break. And again, you can also solo each track. Here's the bass. Guitar, super funky. The full mix, even the, the drum uh, room mics here, you can bring those up. If you want more of a room sound, or you can bring it down. You can really just dial everything in, in and go in and EQ and compress however you want. So that's the beauty of these sessions. It's You get to peel back all the layers of the onion, if you will, and, and dial everything into your taste. and. You know, speed things up, slow them down. If you wanted this track to be faster, we could go to 120. And let's hear how that sounds. Definitely a lot faster. But again, we're full multi-track access, but at the faster tempo, everything's locked in. Slow it down. We could go, you know, let's go down to 90. Slower. And then back to the original 97. So super easy to manipulate both the tempo and the audio. So um, that's it. If you guys have any questions, just give me a shout in the comments or wherever you're seeing this. And thanks again for watching and hope to see you guys soon. Take care.